Oscar Bevis, IFL TV, proudly sponsored by Everlast here in Liverpool for the press conference, joined by Liverpool's very own Luke Willis. How are you, mate? Sound ask. Nice one for grabbing me, mate. Good no, absolute pleasure. It's just, it's Liverpool fight week, man. And I said to you, like, this is just, there's a certain buzz around a Liverpool fight week. And I don't know, it brings the whole city out. Some of the faces come out as well from around the town. It's a, it's a buzz, isn't it? Yeah, it's a fighting city. We, we, we thrive off this kind of shit, don't we? So it's, 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 a, good, it's a good city and it's good to see. Uh, a, a card like this and, and to be on a card like this it's, I'm grateful for it grateful for the opportunity and it's a fight well deserving of a card like this because it is an absolute cracker I don't know is it getting enough love I feel like maybe on fight night there'll be a bit more of a buzz this fight needs love man it's a sick fight oh, my fight yeah yeah you know I, mean? I, haven't, I haven't had one bad word say about my fight at all people think it's 50-50 and this is what I'm in for I'm in boxing for I, I'm in for these 50-50 fights don't get me wrong I'm winning. I've already won the fight. It's just how I'm going to win. And everyone's like, it's a, it's a pick and fight. And that's what I like. I like that. that the, 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 the way people are like, oh, is he going to do this or am I going to do that? You're going to have to wait to see Saturday night. This is what boxing's about now. You know, I've done my apprenticeship. I felt like I had done my apprenticeship after the first year. And then I was ready to go in the deep end. And then before you know it, one thing led to another. And I was out the ring for two and a half years. But... I persevered and I'm still here and ready for these big fights. The fact that you said you feel like you've already won the fight, a lot of people might go, oh, it's a bit, a bit brash, but that's just coming from a place of sheer confidence. Yeah, it's not, it's not cockiness, I'm not cocky. I've already, I've already won the fight with the, the hard work that I've done in the gym and I, I like to think that I know my boxing and I know how, how his style is and I know how my style is and it plays into my hands. It's, and, and I know how... I'm, how hungry I am and how much I want this I, I need this win Not I, I need this win more than anything so I, I, I don't see no other outcome but a Luke Willis win whether that's by a knockout or by points I know some people are calling it a clash of styles but in a way is that almost disregarding the fact that yes we know you can box but you said there's power there and we know Ryland's got power but the geezer can box as well so is it sort of disregarding the fact that this isn't just boxer versus punches there's a lot more to this fight well because he, cause he, he, he knocked Joe Laws out, that's it, he's a puncher, and his nickname as well, it's pint size powerhouse, so everyone thinks he's a puncher. And look, he, he can punch, but because I've only got one knockout on my record, it doesn't mean I can't punch, I've dropped loads of people. You know what I mean? If you, if you, if you don't think I can punch, then, then sign, you're, you're, you're in for a terrible night, Saturday. I'm just a better boxer. There's, as I said yesterday to Matt Stream, there's a reason why it's called boxing, and there's a reason why it's not called fighting. Because... You've got a box, and I'm a much better boxer than Alan Charlton. Can you almost sort of liken this, and I don't want to, obviously I know a bit's been said between you two, can you liken it to the fact that there was a point where he was doing what he had to do on the small hall shows, doing his grind, and then he got the step up to the platform against Joe Laws. You've done your grind, and this is like your step up to the big platform, where the lights, the cameras. Can you sort of liken them two between you two a bit? Yeah, well, as I said, I respect anyone who gets in that ring. Anyone from, from a four-hand journeyman to the top elite. Because it takes balls, mate. You got, you got, you got to be, you got to be a different breed to get in, get in the ring and, and actually fight. But then it comes down to there's winners and losers. I'm a winner. Chat, Ryan and Charlton, he's got losses and draws on his record. I, 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 I don't lose. And he said he's going to come to Liverpool. He's coming to my city to knock me out, mate. You can ask anyone. Have they ever seen me draw? Never. I've got a granite chin, mate. And, I, and I, if I have to show that, the I'll show it. But I'm fully focused on what I'm going to do to Ryan Charlton, not what Ryan Charlton's going to try and do to me. Mate, you're just making me excited for the fight, saying stuff like this. I literally can't wait. I do just want to talk about the experience you had because you boxed in Spain, which is like the complete polar opposite of boxing in Liverpool, like in well, what we call the Echo, in front of your home fans. So, what was that Spain experience like? Because that's sort of a completely different, it's polar opposite to Saturday, isn't it? Yeah, 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 no, this is my own. Still a ring, still a ring. This is my own, and I, 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 Spain was just more of, it just, it happened and it was over. So, I, and it was my first match team build, so it was just getting used to, like, actually, because I, I, all, all through the years, I've been a fan of IFL and match room and Eddie and watching on telly, so actually being a part of it, I was like, just getting used to it, you know what I mean? It's like, just, just, just like a little boy on Christmas, you know what I mean? But now, what, like, I don't feel like, I, I'm still, I still am like that little boy on Christmas, but I, I know what to expect when, when, I, when I come to these types of, like, events, you know what I mean? And, this, as I said, 
when, when it's all said and done, it's just me and Lauren Charlton and the thing Saturday. So it's no different to Barcelona, whether it, 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 Alan's back guard and my back guard, and it's no difference because it's just going to be me and him in the ring, and that that's all that needs. That that's all that people want to see. It's no different to me. And obviously, there's a it's a domestic eliminator as well. Um, is this almost setting the platform for the path that you want to go? You want to. This is your time to win titles and try and make it as big as possible and I suppose the end goal will be a world title but these domestic titles you want to pick up on the way so this is sort of your uh, call it your launch yeah your break or fight the launch pad for the rest of your career yeah this is a British title eliminator so I, I, ever since I've seen a pro all I want is all I've ever wanted is a British title and then I've said I, I'll see where, where I go from there I don't get me wrong my self belief I do believe I can push on and, and go all the way but as I said I'm not even thinking about the British title right now I'm thinking about Ryan Charlton and that's it